Hey everybody, welcome back to the Race Fight Smokehouse and Grill, and today we are cooking the most expensive piece of meat I've ever put my hands on. I have an A5 Japanese Wagyu strip steak here that we're gonna be cooking on our Weber kettle. Let's go! So this piece of meat I got from my friends over at Freedom Butchers in Orland Park, Illinois. If you're in town, if you're local, go check them out. They have great meats there. Now this is an A5 Japanese Wagyu strip steak. They even gave me the certificate for this piece of meat, which is very exciting. Now I've never cooked one of these before, so I'm a little nervous, but I think I've got a game plan down. We're gonna fire up the Weber kettle. We're gonna use Jealous Devil lump charcoal. I'm gonna put a cast iron pan right on top of it. We're gonna get that cast iron pan nice and hot. We're gonna season this bad boy up, and then we're gonna sear both sides, bring it to a nice rare, medium rare, take it off, slice it up, and eat it. While that's heating up, First thing I'm gonna do, we have a bit of a fat cap along the top. I'm gonna trim that down a little bit, and I'm gonna throw that into the pan. Let that fat break down so we cook it right in the pan, because I'm not seasoning in this pan at all. So let's take some of this off here. Making sure not to get into any of that good meat. Cube this up a little bit. Make it easier to break down, which I don't think it's gonna need any help telling just by touching it, it's already starting to render in my hand. And it's a cold day out here in the Chicago area. So we're gonna keep that off to the side here until I'm ready to put it in the pan. I'm gonna season this steak. I'm gonna season it before. I'm gonna hit it with some coarse Himalayan pink salt. I'm gonna do it on both sides. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of some black pepper here. I don't wanna go too heavy on this. Perfect. One of the cool things I've noticed about it, just by handling a little bit, these are much more solid than regular cuts of steak. It almost, like the butcher said when I picked it up, you could, it almost feels like you could club somebody over the head with it and give them a knot in their head, which is interesting. But from what I hear, this renders down and breaks down great. It's really soft. When you touch it, it starts to melt a lot. We've got the salt. Let's do that little bit of pepper again. That's it, we're gonna let this set up a little bit, let that pan get up to temp, then we're gonna throw those trimmings on the grill, let that melt down, and then the steak goes in. This pan is nice and hot, let's take a look. We're reading over 600 degrees in this pan, that's gonna give us a nice fast sear, so let's get this fat in there to render down before we throw the steak in. Probably hard to tell with the smoke coming up from that pan. There's a nice layer of fat that's rendered down that's really gonna season this pan so it's not gonna stick while we cook it. Really shouldn't stick with this amount of marbling on there. So it's about go time. That fat is rendered nicely. We got that pan covered. We have the salt and pepper set up on our steak for about 15 minutes now. So that should give some great flavor. We're gonna cook it really fast. Again, we're cooking this to about 120, 125 only, and then pulling it off, letting it rest a couple minutes, and then we will slice it up and eat it. So it's only gonna be a couple minutes each side, get a good sear, get that internal temperature up to where we want it, which is again, 120, 125. Let's put this on. In a minute or two, let's check that backside and make sure we got a good sear on there, then we'll flip it. Look at that, that's a beautiful, perfect sear. That's why we like doing it in a cast iron. You get that nice overall sear, which imparts flavor across the board. This is coming along great. I'm also gonna sear those sides. You wanna get all this fat seared up, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. 
side too, looking beautiful as well. So let's get these sides hit up. It's really crazy the amount of fat that is rendered out that's sitting in the back of this pan right now. This is temping right where we want it in that 125 range, so we are gonna pull this off and let it rest for a minute or two before we slice it up and get into it. Gorgeous. All right, it's off the grill. These guys showed up right on time. Time to eat, time to slice. Let's check it out. Oh gosh, it's so tender. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I'm, sh dude. It's like you guys should take turns trying to cut this. It's like it, it's like butter. It's nothing. There's no resistance okay. whatsoever. Oh gosh! Look at that. Then I'm just gonna hit it with another quick dusting of the Himalayan salt. Oh, here we go. All right. Everybody grab a piece. All right. Go on, John. All right. Oh my God. Go. Look at that marbling in there. Jesus. Right. Look at the juice. Jeez, yeah. That looks All right, awesome. cheers, fellas. Awesome. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Holy <laughs> oh my God. That's delicious. It's insane. Like that is like they always say. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. That it's 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 not a chewy fat. As soon as it hits your mouth, it just melts. Wow. Holy cow. That is so good. So good. <laughs> Eat some more, guys. All right. Well, There's uh, this. I was going to yeah. say, you don't have to tell me spices. <laughs> yeah. And the spices. Oh, that's perfect. That's um, it's just salt and pepper. Nice little, mm, I guess, crunch yeah. to it. Crunch. Yep. So good. That's from that nice sear in the cast iron pan. You get the overall browning, that nice sear on there. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. That is so good. It's, 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 it's really it's good. Else. Unbelievable. That's a Money thing. well spent. Yeah. Holy cow. Hey, thanks for tuning in, checking it out. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Check out Freedom Butchers out in Orland Park. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Peace out. Thanks, guys.